So I need to calculate the square footage of the area in green here on this survey map. And I know that ZBrush can calculate surface area, so I'm gonna to try to use ZBrush for this. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, I'm gonna go in here. First, we need to get my image into ZBrush. We're gonna go in here to texture, import. Just double click that to load it up. So now you have that uh, available to you. Then we'll go in here to a plane, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode, make a poly mesh 3D, go down here to texture map and select the texture that you imported. You're gonna see it's a little bit squashed and also a little bit dark. You can go in here and switch out your material to like a flat color so you can see it better. And in order to get the aspect ratio of the imported image onto this plane, we can go in here to poly paint, hold down shift and then say poly paint from texture. That's gonna transfer that poly paint or the texture information to my verts. It's not a very high resolution object as you can see, so it doesn't look very good, but you can just go down here and turn your texture back on and now it looks correct. In fact, we'll go ahead and flip this around. So now we need to talk about calibration. Uh, I do have measurements on here uh, from the survey that I can use, but I also have a scale reference down here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. So if I hit W on our keyboard, you're gonna see that's gonna bring up this gizmo here. If I hit Y or go up here and touch this icon, that's gonna switch it to transpose mode. And this is good for move scaling and rotating as well as measuring uh, objects. If I go through here and I take this transpose line and drag this out, first of all, you're gonna see it's gonna kind of snap to weird areas. Uh, that's because it's trying to snap to a vert. Uh, I need some more verts to get a little more fidelity out of the snapping. So I'm gonna go in here to geometry, turn off the smooth modifier, and then just divide this up until I have about a million polygons. Uh, so now I can go through here and I can go, okay, from this distance to this distance should be 10 feet. And I'll go ahead and turn off polyframe. And luckily, if that's all you need to do, uh, it's super easy to do in ZBrush. So again, uh, and if you need to finesse this line, uh, all you need to do is get it close and then go to this outer ring and you can move this. You can even hold down shift to snap it as you move this around. So now we got, okay, the beginning is right at that corner. The end is right at that corner. Then I'm gonna go in here to preferences, transpose units, and uh, right now, when I drag my transpose line out, you're gonna see it's set to a, just a generic unit, it's 0 0.1451 units. Um, if you want that to read feet, uh, we can also go in here to Z plugin, go over here to scale master, say set scene scale, and then just choose feet over here. I'm gonna choose this 1.5 feet. So now instead of 0 0.145 units, it's 0 0.145 feet that we have dragged out. Of course, our scale is this line here should equal 10 feet. And I can do that, uh, again, pretty easily with the transpose line. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go down here to preferences, transpose units, and I'm gonna tell it from the start to the end should be one unit, or in our case, you know what, this is gonna be 10 feet. So I'm gonna say from this point to this point should be 10 feet. So I'm gonna set this calibration distance to 10. And I'm gonna say, how many major ticks do I want? Well, I wanna tick every foot. So I'm gonna say one major tick uh, per and then minor ticks I don't really need so I'm going to say uh, zero so now every time I drag this out every single one of these lines equals a feet and from this point here to this point here equals 10 feet as you can see now has been set to uh, 10 feet so as I go through and drag this line again if I want to just you know drag from here uh, to here it should be 10 feet and there you go it's 10 feet and in fact if I want to test this I can go anywhere in my scene it's like okay corner of their house to the fence should be about five and a half feet there you go 5.49 feet pretty close. So I've calibrated my transpose line to measure based on this scale or based on any of these uh, numbers that you want. For, for instance, this line here should be about 120 feet. So as far as calibration goes, if you want a model to scale uh, using transpose lines to measure, you're good to go. However, if I want to calculate the area of the green, uh, what I could do is I can go and hold, hold down control shift and select lasso. And just, just as a real quick one, I'm just gonna grab the green here and I'm gonna go in here to transform, analyze selected subtool, and it still reads it as 1.5 feet, my original set ZBrush unit scale. So that's not gonna work. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back up here to scale master. I'm gonna say set scene scale. I'm not gonna choose the huge one. I'm gonna say, you know, the 1.5 feet. And that's gonna go ahead. When I did that, what that did was reset my to go back to under preferences, it reset my transpose unit. So you're gonna see my unit scale. Uh, my major ticks has been set to one and my minor ticks has been set to 12. So essentially what it's trying to do is say, hey, every major tick is a foot, every minor tick is an inch. So I'm actually gonna make my, this fit that scene scale. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna say one major tick per and then zero minor tick. So basically every major tick is a foot and I'm just gonna measure out 10 feet and we're gonna match that. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is set that, the beginning of the transpose line right in the corner of there, 
And then I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to hold down shift oops, and just scooch it out until I read 10 lines here. There we go. And now I'm going to scale this image up so that that 10 unit scale fits uh, right here. So I'm going to hit E to go into scale mode. There's my anchor where I started drawing the transpose line. So all I need to do is just pull on this inner ring in here and that's going to scale this entire thing up. There we go. So now you can see I have my transpose line set to 10 feet. And again, I have one major tick per foot. So now I've got this set to that foot and it, it still works. I can still go over here and say, okay, from here to here should be about 5.5 feet. Now, there you go, 5.495 feet. So that's uh, perfect. And now if I go through here and say, okay, how many square feet is just the grass areas? Again, I'm just gonna do a real quick lasso selection and then go in here to transform analyze select the subtool and this one looks the most right remember this is like you know 120 feet plus some so i'm going to say select this one there you go the surface area of this selected uh, polygons here is 35 uh, 3568 feet so now if i want to get a more accurate measurement and also including the green i left out over here uh, a couple different ways i can do that i can go through here and i can slice this if you're going to do that say delete lower and then you can just like slice this area out. You can append a polyplane and extrude over the green. I'm just gonna go in here to subtool, say append a Z-sphere. Uh, the Z-sphere itself is gonna be pretty tiny down there, but uh, that's okay. I'm gonna go down here to adaptive skin, say dynamesh resolution down to zero, density down to one. I'm gonna turn on transparency with ghost turned off. Hit Q to go into draw mode. And then under topology, I'm going to say edit topology. So now I'm just going to create polygons over the green area. So I'm going to just click here and then just click around my object here. We'll go all the way down. And again, just all these green areas. And I'm going to hop across here. ZBrush gets a little bit weird on flat objects and also objects that are flat that you that aren't contiguous so I'm just going to keep everything contiguous for now and I'll delete the polygons that I don't need later so I'm just going all the way around the perimeter of this green area here and I'll go ahead and close that off and then I go back in here and just tap off to reset and then I'm going to tap in here if I need to I can hit W to move and then Q to go back in the draw mode and I can just go through here And continue uh, you know blocking out where the green areas are if I want to and I also go into solo mode here and then it might just be, be a little bit easier to see and I can go through here and just you know continue making these polygons uh, meaningful and uh, you can tap anywhere along here if you want to just create a new uh, starting point for your polygons and again I'm not doing anything fancy here I'm literally just creating polygons wherever I want my surface area calculation to go There we go. So if I want to see my adaptive skin, I can hit A on my keyboard. I can turn on my polyframe and that gives me a preview. Uh, I'm going to go in here to my adaptive skin menu and you see again, A is turning preview on and off. I can say make adaptive skin. That'll make it geometry. I'm just going to append this right back into my scene. Just grab that skin Z sphere that it made. I'm going to turn off my Z sphere, select my polygons here. I'm going to go down here to display properties. I'm going to turn off double and you're going to see, oh, the polygons are actually flipped. So I'm going to go ahead and flip those around. And then I'm going to go out of solo mode. And I'm going to delete these areas uh, that aren't green. So I'm going to hold down Alt with my Z Modeler brush, B, Z, M. Hold down Alt and just paint the areas I want to delete white. Hover over face, say delete. Uh, yeah, it's like polygroup all. And then delete those out of there. So now all my green areas contain polygons. So if I go into solo mode here, you're going to see this is the end result. So now if I go in here to transform, analyze selected subtool, we're dealing with feet right here. And then there's the surface area. 2,134 square feet. Now, before you use this technology to build a space shuttle or a hospital, I don't know how accurate that is, but I thought it was just an interesting way, number one, to calibrate a scene in ZBrush in case you wanted to build to it, but also if you wanted to calculate, you know, the square footage of a really bizarre shape, that might be one way to do it.